This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Fitz, have we tracked down the main man yet? Oh, mate, we've been lucky enough to see this documentary, but it's out on Prime Video tomorrow. It's called Kids Are Growing Up. It's the story of the kid Leroy and his, well, his huge yeah. rise from a young kid in Redfern. Um, it's an unbelievable story, and we're just getting him up right now. There he is. Kid Leroy, where are you, bro? <laughs> I just stepped away. I was just uh, grabbing some food. I was just doing a bunch of interviews and stuff earlier, so I just kind of snag some food really quickly. Chicken burger? Did you get your own chicken burger? <sighs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, like, like when you started in this industry, did you think one day you'll have your own burger? Uh, that wasn't on the top of the list, no. <laughs> That's not what you set out for? But do you know what's yeah, fascinating? No, like, I would love to be your manager and see the amount of stuff that would come your way. Yeah. And then... Yeah, it, I want to see the list of no's. Yeah, the list of <laughs> no's. What is the Can most I ridiculous like request? Could you give us one? Could I give you one? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't... Uh, I don't know. No, off top, but that I've had some pretty crazy requests. Definitely. Hey, mate, yeah. this, this is a really exciting uh, project that you've been working on. Uh, kids are growing up. Now, this is basically your story, isn't it? I mean, from Redfern to where you are now. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a story of the past like three years, maybe four years. It's not the um, it's not like a full. You know, like come up story situation or like the triumphant, like this is it documentary, this is the end. It's just, it's a little bit of just like a recap, a little bit of insight to the past couple of years and just hopefully, um, yeah, I mean, the the goal of the film is basically, I guess, just to hopefully maybe inspire people a little bit and just, I don't know, show a bit more of myself. That's what everyone's always telling me to do is show a bit more of myself. Well, watching this documentary and the amount of anxiety and depression that you suffered as a young child, and and do you know what? It's amazing to think because, I mean, there's you know that there's a lot of young artists and rappers out there, kid, that are trying to make it these days, but just to get that tiny foot in the door and for Juice World to do that for you and say, come and support me on the Australian tour, like, it's just tiny moments, sliding doors moments in people's careers that would you be here now if that didn't happen, kid? I don't think so at all, no. no. I think I think everything, you know, comes together the way it's supposed to and, you know, you can't predict anything. You know, everything comes, you know, different timing and it's it's all just a combination of, yeah, of yeah. all that stuff. But I def- there's, no, there's no chance I would be here without Juice at all. Is there anything from the Redfern days that you couldn't put in the documentary? There would have to be some videos. I want to do a, something <laughs> later on down the line where we do a proper, you know, like everything about my, my life and stuff. This was, I, I really wanted to just focus on the past couple of years of doing the whole music thing and just mm. like... That was, you know, more so the space of keeping it about like that and just like, you know, showing people like just the different moving parts of like being, you you know, going through whatever's happened the past three years, mm, four yeah. years, whatever it may have been. Um, so Are you I think- saying that you're not ready to be cancelled just yet? You're going to keep some of <laughs> you're going to keep some of those things in your back pocket. That's f-ed up. <laughs> I need to ask you about the footy. I know you've been hanging out with some of the uh, the Rabbitohs, maybe even at your own pad in, a, in LA. Are you going to get to the game in Vegas? Vegas I think yeah. it's, what, 10 days, uh, you know, I 10 days to go? Wish, I wish I was going. I'm going to be in uh, Malaysia. I get back the day after. Um, I get back the day after, so I'm, I, I'm not going to be able to make who, it. Who did you hang out with? We saw Cody. We saw Jai. Uh, wow. Yeah, we got yeah we got to hang out with them um, for a little bit. They come they came past the studio and we had a good time. Little little link. I, I was trying to I was giving them some spots to go to out here because they were pretty keen to hit the town. Well, I was gonna say, <laughs> is is Russell there now? Was Russell involved? Nah. So we just it was only a a link with us, and I'm yet to. Uh, I'm yet to go and get around everything, but I, I think I think when I get back from Malaysia, they said they're going to stay here for one extra day, so I might oh, go. Uh, no. I, I might go down to Vegas and <laughs> and uh, hang out for a bit. Can no, I? Can no, I? No, as no. the as don't, the don't. as the middle aged yeah. woman of the group. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm just giving you some motherly advice here. I feel somewhat responsible, and I'm listening to you say that you're going to fly back and spend the last night with the Rabbitohs in Vegas. Oh. I'm saying abort mission now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no. <laughs> you, do you know what? You're probably the responsible one, kid. Yeah. That's the, that's what Kate's saying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I like to think I'm pretty pretty responsible. Well, I, I think you couldn't have had the career you've had. I mean, we we love all the quirky and fun and naughty parts of you, but you you have to be responsible to have mm-hmm. such or have built such a great career. It's been lovely to watch. I have to say. That's really sweet. Thanks for saying that. Oh, that's yeah. okay. Can I quickly ask, though, if you did kick the footy around and you were out on the field yourself, which position would you be playing? Oh, yeah. Honestly? Yeah. I suck. I'm really <laughs> mad. You'd, you'd have a bit of pace, kid. You'd be out in the wing, wouldn't nah, you? You'd have a bit of maybe speed. A wing? Uh, I, I, I am fast. I am fast. I'm definitely yeah. Fast. <laughs> is that your manager that's just no, got into the sorry, car? Sorry, guys. This is like, hilarious. you got to go. Oh. oh, the food's arrived. Have you got your lunch on China? That's is, that ch- po- is that China? That's the chicken burger. That's not the chicken burger. <laughs> but sorry, that was really funny. But, yeah, maybe we'll go with a wing. Definitely not forward, but maybe maybe, maybe a wing. I'm pretty yeah. fast, but I suck at footy. I'm so bad. Yeah. Oh, we're Dude. proud of you, mate. Is, yeah. that, is that Tate McRae? Is she jumping in the car now with you, or is she? She's not there today. You guys are you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Great response. Um, you knew it was coming, uh, mate. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy guys. That's all I'm going to tell you. Yeah. I, I, I let, no, can we just ask? Are you happy at the moment? We're just we're yeah, worried about you. That is such a lame happy. question. Yeah. I am very I'm very happy. I most definitely am very very happy. Very, I'm very happy. Say, I'm actually the happiest I've been. Maybe ever. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's, that's good love. to know. You go and eat that other yeah. delicious meal on that plate right now. Hmm? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys supporting. Always, brother. Legend, good to man. chat. Thank yeah. you. Likewise, guys. We'll see you, mate. Bye-bye. See you, kid. Bye. Bye. Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.